of the build-up to that. As Ronald O'Gara gets us underway for an approaching 100 caps for his country, the monster number 10, and taken by New Zealand's captain, Richie McCall. Here's Carter. And he was put under immediate early pressure. Now it's Rob Carney with a drop and goal. Speculative. Not too far away from the Leinster fullback. 17 stone, four pounds. But of course, his scrummaging will be put under the microscope today. Israel Dag. And now here's Stanley, Benson Stanley. The All Blacks are retaining possession. Here's Dan Carter. And now Israel Dag. He got a can't get on the outside. Benson Stanley. To hold on to that ball. Oh, Ronan O'Gara unable to find touch. And here come the All Blacks again, sweeping forward through Corey G in the pass from Israel Dag. Great link work from Richie McCaw. Good tackle by Tony Buckley. Could have been the next Sir Richard Hadley, Israel Dag. He's a, a fast bowler, 143 Ks. He can chuck them down at. But he may turn out to be the next Christian Cullen. Yeah, a couple of errors here, creeping into Ireland's game. Quickly taken Cowan to Carter, Israel Dag again, heavily involved so far, Dag. He was running some great lines in training on Thursday. These sort of occasions of Brian loves really a warrior of a guy. Uh, Dag touched that, but it went backwards, and David Wallace, good open side that he is, is all over Israel Dag. And the All Blacks have got to get round their fullback here. And it's in to touch, is it? Yes, it is. And the All Blacks have cleared the danger. Ireland, as well as in discipline. Here's Benson Stanley. Oh, almost through the gap. Israel Dag might be. He's got pace. Here's a man with loads of it outside of Joe Rocafoco. Quickest in the speed testing for the All Blacks this week. Good defensive press by the All Blacks. Here they go again, it's Corey Jane. Was Corey Jane held back slightly there? They may still take advantage, it's Jimmy Cryan. I see you go from bad to worse for Ireland, yeah. More in discipline. Urngara holding Corey, Corey Jane back. Try to drift over the line, using the wet surface to his advantage, but not quite. Israel died. Back they come again. Oh, and he's tiptronic smooth as Israel Dag. That's beautiful stuff. And it's Richie McCorn support. Has been precise here. Joe Rocafoco. Dan Carter. Oh, what a great line by Dag. And that pace as well. And here's Jimmy Cowan. And this is turning into a black blooded assassination. He does. Keeps your pack happy. It's a good line out though. Tomas O'Leary Ireland somehow have to maintain concentration. Michael Driscoll, second take for him. Here's Roca Foco. Basketball stuff from the All Blacks. And remember, this is deep in their own territory. Yes, yes, perfect. Carter. All the tricks now. And he glides away, does Dan Carter? And he's got Kieran Reid outside. And Kieran Reid somehow stays this feet. Here's Brad Thorne. Jimmy Cowan should be in again. And he is. And Ireland are having the gizzards ripped from them. A little bit of a dog, a bit of physical presence. He's the immovable block. Now here's Dan Carter. Israel Dag. Back goes Rob Carney. So one more play before half-time. Joe Rogafoco will want to get heavily involved in the action, won't he? Because he was out of favour for quite a, a while on the All Black side. And that's Dag and McCaw. Back goes Rob Carney. Came off his knee the last time. Not this time. Away goes Carney. Using his pace and his step. That's brilliant from the fullback. Corey Jane. Corey Jane to Dag. And that's Andrew Trimble. Still Alan Ball though, Tommy Bow gets it to Gordon Darcy, now it's Shane Jennings and Rob Carney's outside him. 
In comes Israel Dag. Across comes Ronan O'Gara. And it bounces for the Irish out half. Good little step initially by O'Gara. But Mark Lawrence spots a foot and touch. And he's a gifted player, no shadow of a doubt about that. And he's going to make life difficult for Mills Molina to fight his way back in, and that's what it's about. They've also got Corey Jane, can also play 15. Fantastic. Plenty of talent in the back three in particular. They seem to produce back three players. And the old, but the old blacks are quite happy to take up the cricket then. <laughs> he is a, was potentially an international quick bowler. It was actually Brett Lee trying to persuade him to become a professional cricketer, the, the Australian. Strong winds, we had three huge thunderstorms, which forced Giant Evans underneath the duvet. And here's Tommy Bow again, striking perhaps. Here's Murphy. Ireland still playing with great heart. Here's Owen Redden, Johnny Sexton, O'Callaghan, Tony Buckley. Again. Yet again, yes, absolutely. And here's Trimble sliding in. And has he slid in for yet another Irish try? I think that's a try, personally. I think that touched. I think that touched the line. Did he retain possession there? I think that's a try. I think that ball touched the try line. Did he lose it before it touched the line? I think that's a try, to be okay. honest. Okay. Slow mo sometimes complicates things. At some yeah. point, you lose the ball when you score a try. Yep. Wayne Barnes waiting for the uh, decision to come. Thank you very much. Oh. So close for Andrew Trimble. Or Benson Stanley, for that matter. Here comes the advantage, the knock on. And that will be that. And Graham Henry and Wayne Smith must be pleased with a lot of the rugby that his side play tonight. But the feeling on the other bench in the stand, well, the emotions will be to the contrary.